Greetings fellow makers, welcome down to the shop. I'm Bill and today I'm gonna to show you how I made this tiny little camera robot. When I was down in San Francisco for Maker Faire, I got to hang out with my pal, Sean Charlesworth. He does a bunch of 3D printing stuff for the guys over at tested.com. Sean is a 3D printing enthusiast and he's got a bunch of 3D printers. So I figured while I was there, might as well knock out a quick printing project. So we built this little camera enclosure for my tiny GoPro that also looks a lot like a robot and I'll show you how we did it. The first thing that we needed to do was to test all of the mechanical parts. This thing has some pieces that need to lock together and move. So I figured we'd do some tests in small scale before committing to the full print. To hold the camera into the robot body, I designed a little enclosure with a cap that would snap over it. Now this worked in, in theory, but the uh, small test print that I did was a little tight. It didn't quite work, but since I did a small print first, we were able to knock it out in about 20 minutes, try it out, see if it fit on the camera, iterate on the design a tiny bit, and then print it out again in full size. In my opinion, this is one of the reasons why 3D printing is so powerful, this rapid prototyping. Also, for his legs, I wanted to use a ball and socket joint, but I've never done that before, especially with 3D printing. So again, we did a couple of test prints. The first print we did on a normal FDM printer that came out looking okay, but it didn't quite fit the way that we really wanted it to, and it didn't quite grip the way that we needed it to. Fortunately, Sean has on hand a Form 2 uh, resin printer that's just extraordinary from the folks over at Formlab. So we did a couple of tests on that. The prints that came off of this thing were just incredible. And the first one came out pretty good, but it still wasn't quite snug enough. So we printed another one that was just a little bit tighter. And there you go, that one worked out. Again, these are small prints, one off. We didn't do all four legs at once. We just did one at a time to test it, to get it right. Once we got everything locked down, we knew it would work out. Then we could set up the full prints on the 3D printer. Now, before we finish, I gotta tell you a little bit about Sean's stuff. Sean is a great designer and he does a ton of really cool 3D printing. If you haven't already, you gotta check out his ghost trap that he did. That's over on Tested's YouTube channel. We'll have a link down below. But Sean also has an Etsy story. He sells a bunch of his 3D prints and let me tell you, his are among the best. So head on over to his store, check it out if you see anything in there that you really like. I can personally recommend that you'll be completely happy with whatever you get. He's got some full 3D printed kits that you can assemble yourself. And he's also got some really cool hardware accessory pieces for the ghost trap. All right, back to the build. Now all of these prints still weren't very big. They didn't take very long to print, but we set them all up to go. And then we went to Maker Faire and let them print. And by the time we got back later that day, they were all done. Another check mark in the win column for the 3D printers. The next thing that we needed to do was a little bit of assembly work. I sanded the sockets in the robot body and in the legs where the uh, ball and socket joints would be attached. And then the little cups that we made, those got glued right in using super glue. Then all I had to do was snap the leg segments into place into their sockets and lo and behold, we have a little robot that could stand up all on his own. He's even poseable. Finally, I can put the little GoPro session camera into the body, snap on his adorable little cap that holds it all in place, and there you go. We got a cute little robot for my camera. Ever since I did my Mr. Handy build a little while ago, I've been jonesing to make more and more robots, and this guy kind of, uh, kind of scratched that itch a little bit, but I think I wanna make some more. I'm really stoked about how this turned out. There's a, a few design things I know I need to tinker with a little bit. Those ball and socket joints are a little bit uh, tricky. I put some magician's wax in there to kind of bind them up a little bit. It's working okay, but I think uh, kind of an overhaul on that design is necessary. If I do get those working really well and come up with a design that's pretty solid, I'll, uh, I'll put the files up for free so you guys can grab it. If you got the same little camera, you can throw yours in there and you'll have a little robot to, uh, to hold it. And it actually does hold the camera pretty well and it's posable so you can, you know, point the camera up or down a little bit. Maybe I'll even design a little uh, quarter inch screw in his, in his undercarriage here so that you can just put him on a tripod if you want. I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Thanks for checking out the build, you guys, and checking out all of our videos. It really means the world to me. We put a lot of work into these things. Like I said before, you owe it to yourself to check out everything that Sean has been working on. He's a really cool guy, and he makes some really cool stuff. If you're looking for more prop and costume making 
goodness, uh, head on over to punishprops.com. We've got all of our videos and articles and blueprints and books all over there for your hungry eyeballs. I'm also giving away this sword. This is a foam dwarven sword that I made on our live stream. Uh, this is going up, I believe, tomorrow it ends. We'll have a link down below where you can go check it out. So if you catch it in time, go head on over there and sign up for this giveaway. Hey, have you been working on any cool 3D printing projects? Of course, I want to hear about it. Let me know about it down in the uh, comments below. And of course, if you want to bug me over on Twitter, that's at Chinbeard. Thanks again, you guys, and I will see you on the next build.